Welcome to Tokyo, a city famous for its love of cats. Not only does Tokyo have a cat temple, but it also has a section of the city that's called Cat Town. In other words, Tokyo's got some serious dedication to kitties. Now personally, I'm a pretty big fan of cats too, so I decided to make a video about these feline hotspots. So you better grab a treat and you best be taking a seat because the pussy tour is about to begin. So our journey starts off at Gotokuji Temple in Setagaya, Tokyo, famous for being the birthplace of the Maneki Neko. What's the Maneki Neko, you ask? It's that beckoning cat you see sometimes outside of Japanese restaurants. Basically, they're a good luck charm that's supposed to beckon in customers and bring some serious cash flow to any establishment. Sounds legit to me, baby cakes. Now, how the Japanese got the idea of having a pussy as a good luck charm, I'm not entirely sure. But word on the street is it all started with a monk that lived on the premises in ancient times. Apparently, that monk was dead broke, and he had a cat that he loved to bits, but that damn rascal wouldn't pull his own weight around the place. So the monk told the cat to get his ass in gear and start making himself useful. And to his pleasant surprise, that cat posted up outside the temple and started waving his paw around like crazy. Long story short, that primo pussy started bringing shitloads of affluent customers into the joint. And the rest, as they say, is history. Now that was a pretty heartwarming story, so I went inside the reception zone and started checking out the Maneki Nekos they had for sale. The biggest one they had was 5,000 yen, but I wasn't about to spend that much money on an inanimate pussy, so I went more for the 300 yen zone. So I bought myself that Chisai Kawaii Maneki Neko, and as you can see, it's looking pretty fucking nice. Next up, the maestro in that reception zone told me that there was some kind of prime time pussy shrine nearby, so I decided to hightail it the hell over to that pussy shrine. Where is that pussy shrine? Here we got some Maneki Nekos in the window, which is okay, but I want the real McCoy, baby. Now we're getting warmer, we got a bunch of kitty cat statues on the shelf, and whoa, 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 what is going on here? I think it's safe to say we found the prime time pussy shrine. Man, oh man, there's a lot of pussies at this shrine, the fucking thing is stocked up to the max. And you're probably wondering, is there some way to add even more cat statues to this shrine? You best believe there is, baby. Aside from the ground level of pussies, they've also got shelves and shelves of those bad boys. Long story short, nice fucking pussy display right there. Now with all these Maneki Nekos hanging around, I got the feeling this place was running a pretty good money scheme here. They got me to buy the Maneki Neko, then I put it back. For all I know, they could resell it to some other whitey. Nevertheless, I figured I'd keep my Maneki Neko there, you know, for good luck purposes. And with that said, I figured I'd hightail it the hell over to the cat town. So welcome to Yanaka, Tokyo, everybody. Just why this neighborhood is known as Cat Town, I don't know exactly. It could have something to do with the fact that there's some outdoor kitty cats hanging around the place. Case in fucking point, here we got us a choice quality outdoor cat that's getting fed by an old woman and getting pet by a young girl at the same time. What is this, Club Med? This fucking cat's got it better than I do. And here we got another cat chillaxing in the sun, seemingly oblivious to all the passerby. I'd even go as far as to say as that cat's living on Easy Street. Long story short, Cat Town's a pretty good place to have some cat sightings, and it's also a pretty good place to stock up on some pussy gear. They got cat aprons, and they got cat textile art, and hell, they even got cat water bottle covers. Shit's getting crazy around here. Seems to me like everyone from food shops to tchotchke spots are taking advantage of this cat craze. In fact, come to think of it, there's actually more cat branding than cats themselves almost brings a tear to my eye. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong, I like cat branding just as much as the next guy. But at some point, I want to see some more real fucking cats. Can I get an amen? 
I mean, the poster outside this shop said no cat, no life, and I couldn't agree more. That's a nice fucking poster right there. So I talked to some local pussy aficionados, and they said that nearby Yanaka Cemetery was a famous stray cat stomping ground. Well, you didn't have to tell me twice. As soon as I heard that, I sprinted on over to that cemetery full fucking speed, because truth be told, I wanted to see myself some grade A pussies. Now, if I were a pussy, where would I be right now? That's a question I've asked myself many a time. And wow, just wow, could that be two stray cats? I think it is. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I could have sworn that one stray cat just winked at me. I think he was trying to send me a message. I think he wants something to eat. Lucky for them, I brought some crispy kiss along. You know how we do. So I took out an individually wrapped crispy kiss pack, then I proceeded to open that mofo. And I must admit, I was kind of surprised. Even when I poured that food out, those cats didn't seem to pay it any mind. So I figured it was time to move on to plan B, a little thing I like to call a cat dangler. Oh, that's right, baby. I brought a fucking cat dangler with me. Don't you worry about that. And holy shit, the mere sight of that cat dangler must have awakened some kind of animalistic urge deep inside that stray cat. That crazed stray cat was attacking that cat dangler like a wild feline possessed. Key takeaway, nice fucking pussy right there. We even got that other stray cat into the mix. Shit's getting crazy around here. Anyway, you get the drill. Overall, it was a pretty nice Tokyo cat tour, and it was an experience I won't soon forget. Oh, and by the way, special shout out to Jireen for sponsoring this video. You changed my life, and you touched my heart. And as for everyone else out there, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.